electrical resonance. The previous video on mechanical resonance might make this one easier to understand. Electrical resonance occurs when the frequency is 1 over the square root of LC. The frequency omega is radians per second, inductance L is Henry's, and capacitance C is in farads. For series RLC circuit, the voltage across the resistor and inductor will sharply peak at the resonant frequency. In fact, the voltage across R and L will be significantly larger than the source voltage. This voltage, larger than the source voltage, might seem to violate Kirchhoff's voltage law, but no, Kirchhoff's voltage law is always satisfied. This resonance occurs naturally due to the inductor and capacitor effects, just like springs and masses in mechanical systems. Three simulations are shown before seeing the measured results. It's a model of the inductor. The inductor resistance is 190 ohms. There's a 0.1 microfarad capacitor in series, 3 volts AC RMS sinusoidal source at 60 hertz. The red probe shows the source voltage. The blue probe shows the voltage across the inductor. The voltage amplitudes are about the same at 60 Hz. At 120 Hz, the inductor voltage is about twice the source voltage. At resonance, 88 Hz, the inductor voltage is 100 times the source voltage. That was simulated. Now let's see the actual circuit results. 87.5 Hz is the resonant frequency, yellow is the source voltage, and green is the inductor voltage. The inductor voltage is 7.6 times the source voltage at resonance. Below resonance, 70 Hz, the two voltage amplitudes are about the same. Above resonance, 132 Hz, the inductor voltage is 20% larger than the source voltage. At resonance, 87.5 Hz, the inductor voltage is 7.6 times the source voltage. The large 32.8 Henry inductor is called a choke. Electrical and mechanical systems are similar. Omega is the square root of K over M for mechanical systems. Omega is 1 over the square root of LC for electrical systems. And inductance is analogous to mass, and capacitance is analogous to inverse spring constant. Previous videos show the differential equations for both mechanical and electrical systems. Electrical and mechanical analogs can be observed from those differential equations. There's the differential equation for the mechanical system and the differential equation for the electrical system. Mechanical differential equation and the electrical differential equation if we divide the electrical differential equation by C, then it's clear that mass is analogous to inductance and spring constant is analogous to inverse capacitance. This technique was used to measure the inductance of the choke. Various capacitors were used. Resonant frequencies were measured, and inductances were calculated. And compared to the LCR meter measurements,